special thanks for our sponsor. Okay, so we're gonna be spilling some tea about Fordham University. Some tea. Some. Ooh. <laughs> also, Lincoln Center. There's no straight boys. Am Should I, I say that? Is I'm that not, weird? I'm I don't know. You know what's the hardest tea to swallow? Reality. So what if I literally was like, what? Ah! Spill the tea. Is that joke even still funny? Let's just get started. So All right, I just gotta go down the stairs. <laughs> I have 2020 vision. Like the year I graduate. Ooh. Oh. These are fake. <gasps> Hello guys. So I'm Michael here. We are both students at Fordham Lincoln Center. Fordham. It's not Florida, just so you know. Everybody always just says that. If you go here, you're gonna get the same thing. Not Florida. A lot of these things will be specific to Fordham, but this could help you if you're interested in going to any New York City school. So we got a lot of tips about True. money, activities, nightlife. We got you, so just stay tuned. Okay, we'll both introduce ourselves. I'm Vienna. I am a new media and digital design major and fashion studies minor. I'm Michael. <laughs> I'm a communication and culture major. Um, potential fashion studies minor or potential double major in anthropology, I still have yet to decide. Basically, I put on my story asking you guys to ask me questions about schools in New York or Fordham, so that's what we're basically doing here, and then anything else we thought of. Yeah. First, we'll say why we went here. Yeah. Like, as soon as I found out about Fordham, Lincoln Center, like, I knew I wanted to go here. Once I got in, like, I was like, yep, I'm going. It's great. Because I like that the school is, like, small, you don't have to go outside of the class. It's great, and Fordham's a really good school, and it's in New York. Yeah. I just knew, I only applied to New York schools. Yeah. So that's why I applied yeah. to only New York schools. Fordham gave me a fee waiver, so I was like, yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm definitely applying to Fordham. Like, compared to all the other schools like in New York City, small, but not like too small. Like, you just have like a campus, it's not like classes or buildings are everywhere, so yeah. it's like the perfect like, Especially, yeah, size. It's, it's not overwhelming yeah. either, which is good. I also didn't want traditional campus. Yeah. I didn't want to like, walk ages to Yeah, walk. and plus if you're watching this and you're deciding between Rose Hill and Lincoln Center, Rose Hill is very like traditional, typical, yeah, traditional college campus and Lincoln Center is literally like one building. Yeah. <laughs> so I feel like that's the deciding factor. Yeah. I don't know why people... <laughs> like, it's I get, very easy. Yeah, I get so many comments on my YouTube videos asking like how I decided, but I feel like how do you not know which one you want? Like, you have one building in yeah. New York City, or you have like traditional campus in the Bronx, and it's just like what your preference is. So we're gonna start off with scheduling. When we were both yeah. freshmen, they gave us our schedule. Yeah, like the, the first, first semester. semester. Yeah, but they don't do that anymore, I don't think. Oh, they don't? No. Oh, but wow. I, thought that, I thought that was really helpful because I, I really liked the schedule they gave me, like the way I had classes um, on like certain days, so I modeled every other semester after. I had it where I had class 1, 8, 30, Monday, Thursday, and then the rest of my four classes, Tuesday and Friday. So I had Wednesdays off. Oh. And basically Monday, Thursday off. Yeah. Which, like, I liked. Yeah, you can basically do whatever yeah. you want. At Fordham, there is a ton of core classes, which mm -hmm. it's like that at any school. But one tip for core is try to find classes that cover multiple core. Oh, yeah. You can find classes that are, like, English, but EP like one, one or something like that, or like philosophy in EP yeah. one, um, or like global studies and like history. So it's like two yeah. birds one stone. So then you only have to take one class, but it counts. It checks off two different requirements, which is really good. A lot of people always ask about religion, and we're Jesuit. Yeah, we're Jesuit University, but I didn't know what that was coming in here. <laughs> Still, I'm unclear, but it's fine. We have to take religion, but they're pretty basic. Yeah. You can do any religion. And like I took one religion class last semester, and it was like a little introduction to each different type of religion. Yeah. So like. Everybody was learning new things. Yeah. Like I bet not even everyone at the school is like Catholic or oh, like, yeah, no. like Jesuit. Yeah, I feel like a lot of people think that, but it's not true. Yeah. Okay, there's a trick. When you come to Fordham, because I'm like still learning this, because like there are classes that like you might not initially see, and you're like, you wouldn't even think that like yeah, you're, like your yeah, because I'm in a hair and makeup class at Fordham, which like you yeah. wouldn't think that they would be teaching that at a Jesuit university. Like that's so <laughs> random. And we took a class called Mothering and Motherhood, so and that was your core specifically, yeah. And that, yeah. yeah, that was true. That was our core. But it was so interesting. Like yeah. we did learn a lot in that class, even though we yeah. like complained about it. <laughs> I'm trying to think of like favorite classes. Um, I mean, I haven't had like a bad class except yeah. art history. I hated my class. Also, like rate my professor. I feel like can make a class yeah. like your favorite class. Like, oh, just... we forgot our favorite French teacher, Joshua Jordan. If you're watching yes. this, we love you. We do. See, rate my professor. <laughs> But yeah, I'll Except he has, no, he has bad reviews on right my Oh, that's true. Sometimes you can't believe it. Yeah, that's true. But I. But like, make sure you do that. Make sure you look at that because then it can turn like a class that might yes. sound fun 
into like a horrible class. The rate my professor ratings are usually pretty accurate. Yeah. When you're trying to schedule this for any school, go on that website. Yeah. Okay, so now for activities. Um, somebody asked me what I do in between classes. I literally live like a double life. I like go to class, but then I'm like out going to <laughs> events. That's, a, that's, yeah, that's both of us. Yeah. Like modeling, whatever, back to class, back out. See, that's the look of Fordham. Like, that's yeah. the, like the plus of Fordham. Well, because you're not stuck yeah. on a campus. Yeah. I can go to class, then I can go downtown, go to a casting, go yeah. to a job, go so, to something. We also have like stuff on campus. Like yeah. yesterday we had a picnic. It was yeah, cute. there's a lot of free stuff, yeah. free con candy, so. um, license plates with your names <laughs> on them, photo booth. I mean, you're in New York City, so. so you can yeah. imagine, there's so much to do. There's and also the fact that our, our dorm and stuff is so close. You can yeah. always just come back and take a seat, you know, between <laughs> classes. Do homework, you know? Yeah, no, that's true. Okay, making friends. Mm -hmm. So, we are the perfect example. We are. Everybody has class friends. Yes. Just friends in class, you don't really hang out outside of class. But you know what? One day, you should that be like, transition. hey, you want to go to, I so don't know. So? Yeah, and then they're going to say, yeah, I do want to yeah. go. And then you become best friends. Like just, That's just how like it goes. Like, we had class since freshman yeah, year. Yeah, I've known her since the first day of school. <laughs> like, until last, yeah, last yeah, year. Literally, like, two But years. it was even your boy. It was Ewan yeah, that really no. brought us together. Like, yeah, so, literally. Like, we could have done it if we just made the transition. Made the transition. Exactly, because it's not like you're stuck on campus where it's like, oh, you want to go to the dining hall yeah, with me? No. no, I was like, you want to go to an event with me? And then we partied. And had a, and found had our soul sister for life. Yeah, so. exactly. yeah. That's good advice. Yeah. And the class, class friends. Because, like, I see so many people, even on campus, where it's, like, just, like, a little awkward. Yeah, just like, like, hey, and that's, that's it. Like, you that's never... all we know of each other. It's just, like... Mm. Yeah. Wait, what, what's another way to make friends? Clubs. Um, I don't know. I don't know. Like, I don't if you're friendly, know. you're going to make friends. Yeah. Um, also, like, make friends and then meet their friends. Yeah. And then you'll meet their friends. Like, also, befriend the commuters, because those are also great people to, like... No, because they know so much about the yeah, city. Yeah. Freshman year, I had no idea what New York was. I was like, what the? I was like, this is so much. The subway, and I had so many commuter friends, and like they yeah, showed yeah. me around because That's of the fact good. that like they knew. See, I make a lot of friends like from Instagram or True. like YouTube, which some people like aren't into that. Or, like, don't use social media like I do, but it's honestly such a good way. True. Like, I'll see somebody on campus. Like, this is so creepy. But, like, I'll see somebody on campus, and if I, like, know their name, like, we're just like, hey, whatever, like, follow them on Instagram, then you keep up with them, like, yeah. then you see what they like to do, so they can be like, hey, I saw you did this yeah. thing, like, oh, we should go together next time. Also, compliments are a great way to, oh, yeah, yeah to get yourself to I like your shoes. Yeah, I like your shoes. Automatic best friends. Because, like, now, like, wow, they like something about me, now I want this person around me. So, compliment your way into their lives. Wow, we're really giving good yeah. advice. I see like my so robe. Stuff. I know this robe is so comfy. I, I know. Like, I'm like just touching it the whole time. Right now, this is so <laughs> comfy. I'm just like feeling out. Like, mm. Look how cute it's look at like... our robes. On Fridays, we wear pink. <laughs> Let's see what else. Um, People ask a lot about food. Um, the meal plan. Our school is small and the dining hall is very small. And mm -hmm. there's not that many options. Yeah. That's like all I'm going to say. It's not bad. But it's there just, just aren't that many options. Yeah. So basically when you come to school, as a freshman, you get a meal plan um, with swipes and also with dollars. Yeah. And the swipes are in the dining hall, which like, yeah, there's, like I said, there's not that many options. Yeah. But like, it's fine. Whenever you just swipe in and like have anything Yeah, you it's like all you, basically all you can eat. And then the Ram Cafe and Argo Tea are like with your dollars. Yeah. Oh yeah, I never but There's like more, there's other, other, other ones, ones, but they're just like, yeah, they are the Those same are the thing. main ones. Yeah, yeah, whatever. They use the same thing. Um, but the Ram Cafe just got like a little upgrade. It's and so it's... It's a little nicer, but Argo Tea is yeah. good, and Argo Tea is like a place. Um, they have them outside of Fordham as well, yeah. so like, it's good. Yeah, you get tea obviously, but like pastries and little sandwiches. Pretty good. Food outside of Fordham, I'd say Turnstile. Yeah, that's like easy. I literally ran into her yesterday yeah. there. Turnstile um, is great. It's in the subway in Columbus Circle. There's like, I think there's just two entrances. Like you can't get to it from all the entrances. There's like, um, yeah. But if you go by the Time Warner Center and like go underneath there, it's kind of like a food court. They have great options. Yeah, and they like frequently change them. Yeah, that's yeah. Which like I don't know if that's good or bad, <laughs> but it's good because then you get to try new stuff. Yeah. Um, but like they have everything there. They have like vegan place, Mexican pizza, pierogies. Do they? Yeah. Oh yeah. The, oh yeah, yeah, yeah. That's new. So if you like pierogies. Um, <laughs> Like donuts, vegan, donuts, vegan, vegan donuts. donuts. Yeah, vegan donut. It was so good too. I really recommend. Oh, I had mochi. Yeah, so you have. They have everything there. basically. Yeah. Oh, and they have fried chicken in the cone. Oh, true, true. true that true. is chicken so cone. good. Um, also, Whole Foods is mm -hmm. in the Time Warner building. Like the um, mall thing. Yeah, like the mall right there. 
um, in the basement. So and that has like pre-made food. Yeah, hot station. Yeah, yeah. So so you can go there and sit and eat lunch, but then you can also get your groceries. Yeah. And that's open to like 11, which yeah. is like pretty late, so you can go get a snack and like... We have diners around school, but they're not really like... Yeah, the flame. If you're watching this, go look up Lord in the Flame and leave a comment down below about what you found out. Because if you're a real one, you would know why it's really important that Lord, L-O-R-D-E, <laughs> not our Lord and Savior, we go to a Jesuit school. We want to make sure we specify. Don't want to confuse you. You don't want to confuse people. The other Lord, our Savior and Grace Queen. Yeah. Look it up. Okay. <laughs> um, also, there's Trader Joe's, which a lot of people True. go to. It's like exercising stuff. Yeah. So I go to the New York Sports Club. It's right by school. But our school offers a discount at the YMCA. Yeah, we have a gym in McMahon Hall that anyone can go to. Yeah. Um, there's also an Equinox right by us, and there's a Soul Cycle place that just opened up. Sure. Yeah, I mean, like, you're in New York, yeah. you can go anywhere. Those are just, like, the walking distance yeah. places. Okay, a lot of people always ask me about money, like, how I afford school Ooh. and how what the cost of living is like. Well, that's mm. different for everybody. <laughs> that's people true. have to take out loans. People get help from their parents. Scholarship. Scholarship. Yeah, there's a lot of options. Um, but the cost of living, I don't know. I mean, if you're eating at restaurants, like, I like to spend my money eating at restaurants. And if you watch any of my other vlogs, you know that. Um, but if you go grocery shopping, like, that's cheaper, yeah. usually. Sometimes it's easier to just, like, grab something for lunch. Yeah. Save money. Like, that is very... Exactly. Like, save money. No matter how much money you have, no matter how much money you don't have, like... Yeah. If you just put away a dollar and, like, start doing that, like, with change or stuff... Like, I have, like, an app. Oh, my God. No, uh -huh. literally, I go... Okay, there's a pizza place called Justino's by us, and I go there every time I pay in coins because I just save up all my coins, yeah. and they just sit there, and so I just... Literally, I will count out like dimes to pay for my pizza. But I'm just getting rid of them, and they want the change anyway, so it's fine. And also, um, a lot of people have babysitting jobs, which True. is so easy to do in New York. A um, wag, there's wag walkers. Oh yeah, you can like, walk dogs. Yeah. So like simple things like that, you can make money. Sell your clo sell clothes. Oh yeah, I, sell yeah. clothes on Depop. Check um, out Yex Vintage. You gotta say in every single video. People on like on school campuses. Yeah. There's like a lot of options. Those are just like easy things that you can do and it kind of make your own schedule. Yeah. But student discounts, where do people for For us, for Fordham, like compared to NYU, we get nothing. Yeah, we get nothing. We get nothing. <laughs> a lot of places are cash only or credit yeah. only. So make sure so you check. have both at but, all times. Yeah. Okay, nightlife. Um, I'm the wrong person to ask. It's New people York are always City. so like, concerned about this. Okay, like, bottom line is you need a fake ID yeah, to get into a club. Yeah, you need a fake ID if you want to do anything that involves like Drinking. Yeah. They're very strict here. Obviously, yeah. it's in New York. They have to be. Um, I don't yeah, recommend. We're not condone the because thing. I don't have yeah. one and I don't go out. We're not going to condone it. I we're do. Just saying. I do a lot of fun stuff yeah. without it. Like you like like. There's so many like pop up shops. That yeah, exactly. Have and so like at at night where there's like people and music events. and stuff. So it's fine. Um, you need it. There's like this website called Do NYC. They have one for LA too. And so, like they have one for like a lot of different cities. But it's just like what you do. Yeah. Oh. Okay. Like have like oh, getting a job internships. Fordham has a great like career services. I know. But like do they? I don't know how weird it is. I'm like... <laughs> yeah. And did you know that the editor in chief of L just left L Magazine and is teaching a class at Fordham? What, what class are you teaching? Right. It literally just announced last week after the schedule. What class are you teaching? Because I would be all over fashion the journalism. Okay. And she teaches it next semester. We're going. We're doing it. Or we're just like sitting in the back if of class. If you're watching this, we're in her class. Because <laughs> oh, I don't want to. Fri it's a Friday class. Oh, you're saying Friday. Friday. Can you say Friday? I, I need my. Yeah, I want to give up my Friday. We have Friday Fridays too. Yeah. Like, I'm trying to go on like, vacation continue, every week. Yeah. I'm kidding. I'm not kidding. And that's the thing about Fordham. Our classes, like, you can really have, like, days off, like, for real. Like, I have Tuesdays and Fridays off. Oh, yeah. Also, block classes where it's, like, only once a week, three hours, I think. So worth it. For, okay, like, wait, no, dorming. Oh, true. Okay, if you go on a tour here, they're gonna show you the freshman dorms, and that's a lie. But, like, the freshman dorms, McKeon, are, like, hotels. They like, grab you in. They're so they nice. They grab you into the school. Okay. I mean, like, the other dorms are fun. Yeah. They're just nowhere near McKeon. Like, they're not updated. They don't have a glass around. Like, this is, like... It's literally a hotel. Yeah. It's just, even, like, the lobby of McMahon is just nowhere near. It's a hotel. Near. It's, like, a nice hotel. It's, like, a Ugh. nice hotel. You have, like, your little dining hall, little cafeteria. Yeah. That's it. how they grab you in. But I if you are like deciding, because some people comment and they're like, should I live in McMahon or McKeon? I'm like, McKeon. Mm -hmm. But like if you want to cook, then they have a kitchen here. Yeah. But I would still live for your freshman year in McKeon. Yeah. If, if you come to Fordham oh, and you see us, and you love saying hi to people. Good night. <laughs> <laughs> Just slipped off the
bed. So thanks for watching. We're gonna go have a slumber party in our robes because we look so freaking mm -hmm. cute. These are the nicest robes ever. Like I'm actually not gonna take this off. Get yourself one. I'm gonna put the link. Someone's home. I'm gonna put the link right here. Right. It's here. also in the description. Yeah. Okay, match with us. Get yourself kink robe and then tag me on Instagram. I will shout you out on my Instagram if you do it. Kindness is key. What? <laughs> okay. No we just need to morning. go. That was my momentum this morning. Bye. Is Vienna a super short show? What? <laughs> I was just wondering. Yeah. If you got a pocket full of sunshine. I got a pocket, got a pocket full of sunshine. Whoa. Whoa. If you were here for Vienna, but stayed for me, <laughs> comment, I stayed for you down below.